What can you compare the book of scriptures to? A door. Go ahead, go ahead. Are you listening? Go ahead. <laughs> you can come in and out. Oh, yeah. Question is, when you open the door, are you prepared to accept what's on the opposite side? That's right. Can you handle it? That's right. When I was coming up, there was a game show called Let's Make a Deal. Mm -hmm. Behind curtain number one or curtain number two, you know. Sometimes I mean, you may think it's something worthwhile there, but then when the curtain come open, you hate it ever came open. Yeah. You was not prepared to deal with what was on the other side. That's right. Jesus said, I am the door. I am the door. That's right. I want to talk about the door today. Amen. I say, what can you get from a door? A door's a door. No, it's not. Oh, no. Some doors are made to lock. Some are not. Mm -hmm. Some doors just swing. Go ahead. Depending upon the type of wood and the weight of the door, it differ in the size hinges you need. Go ahead. To give it swinging ability. That's right. I want to dissect his title. Mm -hmm. The door. The door. Amen. Listen at this. St. John chapter 10, we'll begin in verse 1. You're ready for it, aren't you? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> he all ready for it. Amen. All right, let's strip it bare. Follow me. St. John chapter 10 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door. He that entereth not mm -hmm. by the door. Into the sheepfold. Amongst the church. But climbeth up some other way. But try to come into the body of Christ using another method. The same is a thief. The same is a thief. And a robber. And a robber. But he that entereth in by the door. He that come by the door. Is the shepherd of the sheep. Is the shepherd of the sheep. Down in verse 7. All right. Then said Jesus unto them again. What is it? Verily, verily, I say unto you. I am the door of the sheep. Let's, let's go to work. Amen. Give chapter and verse again. We'll go back where you started. I want to just let you walk along with us. Along. Mother Foster, I, it does my heart well to see your amazing grace. Mm. <laughs> you may not know why I call her that. I was watching the news one night. And raise your hand, Mother Foster. She's 91 years old. And I turned the television on, my wife and I were watching the news, and Mother Foster was put in the beginner's book of records. That 91-year-old mother was in a race, and she was running Amen. and made the finish line. Amen. And uh, I believe the oldest one that ever done such race, and uh, they interviewed her, they asked her, well, how do you do it? She said, every time I get started, I say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Lord Jesus. <laughs> Lord Jesus, as you made it across the finish line, 91 years old, and she looks wonderful. Amen. Give chapter and verse. Listen at this good. St. John chapter 10 and verse 1. All right. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door. Now hold it. Remember, Jesus says, I am the door. I am the door. Now, he that entereth in not by not the door, by the door. Mm -hmm. he that come in not through Jesus. That's right. Jesus says this: No man cometh unto the Father except by me. By me. Mm -hmm. No man can get to the Spirit right. except they first come to the body. That's right. That the spirit dwells in. That's right. Are you getting me? Sure. No man come to the Father except by me. By me. Yeah. Nobody can connect to the eternal life mm -hmm. until they first hook up, That's link right. up, or associate themselves with the natural life. That's right. For the natural life, the man, the body, the prophet, mm -hmm. the apostle, mm -hmm. the son. Mm -hmm. He's called the apostle because he's the head of the church. Right. He's called the prophet because he was the messenger sent by the spirit that was in him. And he was the end of the law. That's right. Huh? That's right. You see, under the law, he didn't have no apostles. That's right. He just had prophets. Just prophets. So he come along being prophet and apostle. That's right. Showing the ending of one era 
and the introduction of another. For Christ is the end of the law. You see, Christ is the end of the law. So here you had, I, I hope you get this. Right. Here you had the prophets that functioned under light. Right. But there was a greater light to come. That's right. So if there would be a greater light, there would be a greater church. That's right. Because you had two churches. That's right. You had the church in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Then you had the church that started at Pentecost. That's right. The church in the wilderness was a natural church governed by a natural law, but they functioned under a dim light, limited right. understanding. That's right. They functioned where there was a shadow. For the law having a shadow. Glory to God. Are you listening to this? In Hebrews chapter 10 and at verse 1. Mm -hmm. For the law having a shadow. The law having a shadow of good things. Of good things. To come. It wasn't there yet. Right. The good things to come wasn't there yet. It was to come. To Until come. Paul said in another place mm -hmm. that the way mm -hmm. into the holiness of all. Right. Notice the language of it. That's right. He said the way into the holiness of all. All that's right was not yet made manifest while the first tabernacle yet stood. He didn't say there was no holiness. No, he didn't. No, he didn't say that. No. He said the way into the holiness of all. That's right. Because you had holy prophets. That's right. But there were things about holiness that the prophets didn't have. That's true. Huh? That's right. Are you listening? The Holy Prophet. So I said, well, how is that? And they was called Holy Prophets. They was called Holy Prophets because they were students or servants of a Holy God. That's right. And being that a Holy God got in them, which was the Holy Ghost, it's responsible for the contents of the message. That's right. Listen. The Holy Ghost, this signal. You better give chapter and verse. Hebrews chapter 9 and at verse 8. Now you have an Old Testament door. Hmm. Glory to God. Go ahead, go ahead. You have an Old Testament door, mm -hmm. and you have a New Testament door. That's right. Jesus, mm. the formation or the creation of the Messiah, mm -hmm. was this one ultimate door. That's right. That linked you to both Testaments. Mm. Glory to God. That's Are you listening to me? Amen. You had an Old Testament door, mm -hmm. and you had a New Testament door. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? The ability to open and close. The ability to make man see. The ability to take man through the other side and connect them to God. Right. The prophets had that, mm -hmm. and the apostles had that. Mm -hmm. But Jesus, just one door, one door. That's right. That's stood right. between. That's right. That's why it's called mediator. Mediator. That's right. He was equal to the equator of the earth. Mm -hmm. Between. That's right. Separation showing you two climates. Mm. So there was a climate in the Old Testament that differed from the climate of the New. That's right. The reason why the climate was different because the light was different. Light. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. In the natural, if darkness come upon the earth, then Shadow. the climate on the earth is different than when the sun is at its fullness. That's right. In the time of the prophets, they was under a shadow. shadow. That's why the moon was under the feet of the woman. Of one woman, Israel, because from a woman a nation come. Go ahead. Without a woman, you don't have a nation. That's right. So look at what this woman was between. She was the moon feet, and yet she was clothed with the sun, but the woman was in the middle. That's right. Showing the existing of two churches. Mm. A Old Testament church mm -hmm. and a New Testament church. That's right. In the Old Testament church, the church in the wilderness, that's moonlight. Moonlight. That's right. Dim light. That's right. No baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. The best you can do is be baptized in the Moses and the cloud in the sea. Right. No Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. The best you can do is have the Holy Ghost come upon you and move you and deal with you for a particular time, then back off. That's right. No apostles, the highest office you can get was a prophet. The prophets. Are you getting me? Go ahead. Go ahead. But then you had the woman clothed with the sun. Mm -hmm. Moon under her feet. Whenever the moon appeared, what happened? That day is coming to an end. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Oh, yeah. That day coming to an end. Christ is it the is end of God. the law. But to end it, I first must fulfill it. That's right. How do I bring the law to an end? By taking the place of every event that will take place. That's right. I bring certain practices. That's what it means. 
But it says Christ is the end of the, of the law. law. I bring certain practices now to naught. That's right. Before I come, get your goats. Oh, yeah. Get your lambs. Get your lambs. Get your water offerings. That's right. But lo, I come, I come to take the place of every sacrifice you can think of. That's right. Christ is the end of, of the, law. the law. Christ is the end of mosaic indulgement. Mm. Go ahead, brother. Are you listening? Go ahead. Christ is the end of mosaic indulgement. That's right. Aaron had a rod. Won't well, need no rod now broke from the branch. That's right. I will be the rod that comes forth from the stem of Jesse. That's right. Are you listening? Go ahead. Moses turned waters into blood. You won't need that no more. That's right. I will shed blood that's all can be integrated with water. Moses would take scarlet wool. What is scarlet wool? Mm -hmm. If you slay a lamb and the wool cover its body, mm -hmm. the blood stains the wool. That's right. You won't need no more lamb. Now the lamb of God or the sacrifice of God will come. Right. Christ is the end of the law. Of the law. Right. Haggai says it this way. In Haggai chapter 2 and at verse 9. <laughs> You're already there, aren't you? Amen. Glory to God. Listen, family. Haggai chapter 2 and verse 9. All right. The glory of this latter house. Uh-oh. The, the glory. glory. The appearance. The function. Mm -hmm. Of this latter house of the last days. Hold it. That's right. House. I told you it's more than one church. Oh, yeah. You got an Old Testament church and a New Testament church. That's right. The glory of the latter house, the house of the last days, the church of the last days is the mystical body of Christ. That house is what? Shall be greater. Is greater. Than of the former. Than the former. Saith the Lord. See, there's a former house. That's right. They pointed to the New Testament house. That's right. The land of Canaan was to be our New Jerusalem to come. That's right. Their Moses mm -hmm. represent Jesus. That's right. When fire came down from heaven and consumed the sacrifice, represent the Holy Ghost coming down from heaven and consuming everything that's in us. Amen. Christ is the end of the law. But he had to open that door slowly. Slowly. First, the door had to be me. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. Are you listening to the old man? Is this not the carpenter's son? Mm. That's right. That's right. Is this not the carpenter's son? son. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. The door had to be made. So God goes to the house of David and fashion wood. That's right. And the workman. Listen. In the book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14. Glory to God. And at verse 2. Listen. For verily, verily, desire of gain. Desire of gain. Devised that. Devised that. And the workman. And the workman. Built it. Built it. By skill. But thy providence, O Father. But thou providence, O Father. Governeth it. Governeth it. Amen. So here comes the governor. That's right. Fashions a door. That's right. And when he fashioned this door, Go ahead. <laughs> the door would hang mm. on the spirit. For That's the right. spirit itself would be the hinges or the support, giving its ability to swing, Go to ahead. open and close. That's right. Mm. In order to be able to open this door, mm. the same one that made it have to give you skills how to use the key. That's right. That's right. For the book calls the key knowledge. Go unto you lawyers. Go unto you lawyers. The book of Luke chapter 11 verse 52. Listen. For ye have taken away. Ye have taken away. The key. The key. Of knowledge. Of knowledge. Ye entered in not yourself. Ye enter in not. You see Jesus is someone you got to enter into. Enter. That's right. Huh? That's right. You got to enter into him. But before you can enter into him, he got to open up to you. That's right. Now, what do you mean open up? You got to be able to understand him. That's right. Now it takes the key of knowledge That's right. to open up Jesus. Open. That's right. That's right. You got to have someone that God gave the key of knowledge to yeah. to open Jesus up. Open you up. see, when you put the key in, sometimes the key don't your lock don't respond right away. That's true. So you gotta work it. Work. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You gotta turn it to the left or to the right. That's right. And then, perhaps, then when you're able to get the lock, you know, you got to turn to the left. 
That's right. And to the right. And to the See, right. to understand the deal with Jesus, you got to you got to go mm -hmm. to the left. That's right. And to the right. That's right. You got to go to the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. You got to go to the New Testament. That's right. And back to the Old Testament. That's right. And the New Testament. That's right. Why? Jesus did not stop in the New Testament. Go ahead. Jesus start in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament. That's right. So you got to find out how can I open the door to the Old Testament? That's right. That I may be able to interpret this Jesus in the New Testament. But when the fullness of the time was come. Hey, you listen to the old man. In Galatians 4 and verse 4. Listen. But when the fullness of the time was come. Even so we was children in bondage under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of the time was come. God, God sent forth his son. Forth his son. Hey, the fullness of time mean appointed time. That's right. I will make the door. Mm -hmm. I'm not ready to use it yet. That's right. It's got to be put together. Put together. Got to be built. That's right. And I send carpenters. That's right. To announce the construction of it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but thou Bethlehem Ephrata. Go ahead, brother. Though thou may be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come unto me. Unto me. That is to be ruler in Israel whose going forth has been from old to everlasting. The prophets was used. Mm -hmm. Now listen. And the door is not greater than the one that hang it. That's right. <laughs> Are you listening? Amen. The door is not greater than the one that hang it. Oh, no. The door can't open itself. That's right. Can't close itself. Mm -hmm. Got to have a force to swing it open. That's right. Jesus said, my father is greater than I. It's greater than I. It's greater than I. He said of myself, mm, I do nothing. I can't do nothing. That's right. But as my father dwelleth in me, he, he doeth the work. What you mean? He's that driving force. That's right. He's the force. He's the force. Cause me to open and close because he taught me. That's right. As my father and listen, as my father taught me, I speak these things. I speak these things. What you mean? As my father pushed me, I can open. That's right. And he can close me when he get ready. That's right. Mm. Jesus said, I am. I am the door. Mm. I am the door. Mighty heavy door at that. Heavy. Oh, yeah. Just anyone can't open Jesus. No way. You got to be able to open Jesus and not error mm -hmm. in your opening of him. That's right. See, that door is different from all other doors. That's right. So when you deal with him, Discuss him. You better discuss him slowly. Slowly. Take a time to talk about him. That's right. Screen everything you say. Amen. Weigh every scripture you use. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's used correctly. That's right. Don't be quick to say amen to everything you hear about Jesus. That's true. And don't be quick to fight everything you hear about Jesus. That's right. Somebody may come to you in the name of Esau. Don't argue. Don't argue. That's simply out of it for Jesus. That's right. Somebody may say, well, I believe in Hashua. Don't argue. I simply Hebrew for Jesus. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Knowledge is power. Oh. Now, without this knowledge, you can't defend what you don't know. That's right. And wisdom will teach you why do a lot of talking over subjects you don't understand. Don't understand. Learn first. Talk later. Talk later. It's no need to try to preach Jesus and you don't even know him. Amen. Do it make sense? So I don't say, well, I know him. How? Well, he's a healer. I, I need to know more than that because he's more than that. Oh, yeah. Even though the Lord filled with the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue over 30 something years ago, I know he's more than that. So therefore, I want more experience than that. That's right. He's a way maker. Yes, he is. But I, I, I need more than that. To be able to experience God. That's right. For by speech. Listen. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 24. Everybody all right? Amen. Listen. For by speech. By speech. Wisdom. Wisdom shall be known. Shall. Hmm. By speech wisdom shall be known just like by speech a fool is known. That's right. For the book says a fool is known by the multitude of words. words. You ever sat in a discussion with somebody? You didn't know where they start? And when they was done, you didn't know where they end up. Amen. It's wind. It's noise. Noise. Worship says the prophets are as 
wind. What do you mean the prophets are as wind? Wind doesn't have stability. No. Wind goes in various directions. It's all over the place. That's right. So when the scriptures compare the prophets to wind, it shows they has no stability. Somebody say, well, I don't, I don't quite get that because if God called a prophet and compare him to wind, isn't God wind? No, God is not wind. Wind is a created source from God. That's right. So there's more than one wind. That's right. There's a wind that God is in and there's a wind that God is not in. Not in. For in the days of Elijah when the rocks rent in the wind blew, the prophet said God was not in the wind. That's right. So when you go to a church, and you hear some preacher blowing scripture. Carry the bell. Amen. He hit. In Ephesians 4 and verse 14. Says what? And carry the bell. Carry the bell. With every, with every wind, wind of, doctrine. of doctrine. Don't think everything in a pulpit got the wind of God. That's right. The wind of God is a strong, rushing, mighty wind. Mighty wind. It causes the bones that are detached from him. Mm. to come back, regroup, and then gives them life. That's it. But there is a wind mm -hmm. that disconnects you from the Most High. That's right. It is the wind of deception. deception. The wind of false hope. That's right. The wind of excitement, but it's not the wind of insight. That's right. The wind of enthusiasm. Mm. I don't want to be enthusiastic and I'm still a fool. No, you no. ever met an excited fool? <laughs> Amen. Yeah, there's some folk, they're excited, but they're still a fool. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to be excited, let me have knowledge of what I'm excited about. That's right. Do you understand? That's right. Jesus standing between law, mm -hmm. grace, grace. Mm -hmm. mediator, mediator, between the human and the divine. That's right. We were fortunate to come to the door. That's right. But somebody had to open that door for you. That, mm -hmm. Because man don't have the ability to open it on his own. Oh, no. How open for us? God gives someone knowledge of him, and then he introduces you to the door. That's right. That's right. See, there are some doors, man, I can use the key. We need a combination to get in. You got to know how to use scripture. Oh, yeah. Get in. That's right. If not, the lock still won't come open. Won't. That's right. See, when you try to go into scripture with your own little puny way of thinking, <laughs> the scriptures remain locked and Amen. sealed. That's right. Huh? That's right. 29th chapter of the book of the prophet Isaiah. Yeah, that's it. That's right. Natural knowledge or education doesn't give you the ability to unlock the door. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, no. Tell them no. I, I'm not. Uh, taking questions off the web. I totally forgot we are live on the web, but no, I, I really was not taking questions at all. Mm -hmm. uh, one question is, how do a person tarry for the Holy Ghost? You tarry for the Holy Ghost from the depths of your heart and from the sincerity of your mind. You have to want that above everything under the sun. The Holy Ghost is God and God is the Spirit. And when you get online with God, God will get online with you. That's it. And when you want God more than anything under the sun, you call him by his name. That's it. You don't have to wait till you go in some building that's called church for God can receive, can fill you with the Holy Ghost at any place, at any time, right. and in any setting. That's right. It is written, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be rescued. That's it right. is written, whosoever, you know, knock. No. And it shall be open. That's it. No. That's it. That's it. He says, seek and ye shall find. When you say you want the Holy Ghost, you got to look for it. Oh, yeah. I don't mean actually turn your head. No. Looking your heart. That's it. Have to look towards heaven. That's right. Don't look towards no preacher for the Holy Ghost. That's right. And no preacher can give it to you. That's right. Don't look for no church. I got to go to church to receive the Holy Ghost. No, you don't. No, no. On the day of Pentecost, there was an upper room. That's right. What Peter was preaching to the Gentiles, the Holy Ghost fell. That's right. So regardless of where you are, you don't have to be in a church. You can be home, on a job, in a bathtub. That's right. Boom, the glory to God. Wherever you are, it doesn't limit the ability of the Holy Ghost. That's right. So if you want to know how to tarry, mm -hmm. faith. You must believe him. That's right. Believe who he is. He that comes to God must believe that he is and be warned to them that diligently seek him. So if I come to God for the Holy Ghost, my, the reward of my faith is me actually.
actually receiving it. Look. How do you know you got it? That's right. When you speak in tongues as the Spirit give utterance. That's right. You are speaking a language you never spoke before. Oh, yeah. It'll be an unknown tongue because you won't have the knowledge of the language of unless God gives you or someone else the ability to interpret. Mm -hmm. It will be another tongue because it'll be different from your native tongue. Right. And it will be a uh, new tongue because you never spoke it before. That's right. Now, if you go to a church and the preacher is going to tell you how to speak, how often you should speak, or you don't have to speak, leave the church. Leave the church. That's right. God ain't never sent a preacher That's right. that they're now speaking in tongue. That's right. Not one. Not, that's right. I don't care if he's shake. Yeah, because if the preacher denounced speaking in tongue, it proves he's not a preacher. That's right. Because to be a preacher, you got to have the Holy Ghost. That's right. You got to be anointed. That's right. Anointed by Him. Amen. To These be a signs. preacher. That's right. To be a God sent, God, God anointed, God made, God instructed Peter. Peter is with it. He preached with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven. Amen. Sent down. So that you know this Holy Ghost comes from heaven. James said every good gift, every perfect gift comes from above, come down from the Father of life. So when Jesus opened himself, when the door come open, open. you see, there's a door in heaven. That's right. Yes, it is. Give me Revelation, Revelation chapter, chapter 4. Chapter 4. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. There's a door in heaven. Revelation chapter 4. And Revelation four. chapter 4. I'm going to get verse 1. After says, this I looked. After this I looked. And behold. Look now. A door. A door. Was open. A in. door. That's right. A door. A. Gonna have a bunch of doors in heaven. A door. But there's only one God there. That's right. Huh? That's right. And there's only one direction. That's right. One way. Amen. One setup. That's right. One route. Amen. To connect it to him. That's right. After this, I After look. this, I look. And behold. You see, when a man set up religions, he's trying to set up his own door. His own. That's to right. To try to get you to God based upon his little flimsy understanding. That's right. That's why I take God in man That's right. to open up God that created man. That's right. Let me repeat my Take God in man. That's right. To open up and explain God right. that made man. That's right. Wonderful. It has to do it. Has to be. You see, God giving us. And then give, and then he explained himself that's right. through us. That's right. To you. Amen. So you can understand him. That's it. That's why the book says the spirit. That's right. Speaketh. Express. Such all things. That's right. To the spirit, such all things. That's right. Yeah. Even the they do things, things of God. God. It's the spirit. He search it all out. That's right. Man, just read it. That's it. But the spirit search it out. Break it up. Break it up. Man, you can just read it. That's right. Why is the spirit called the searcher? Because man don't have no light. That's right. If the spirit is the subject, the spirit is the light. That's right. Otherwise, than that, you stuck reading a letter. Amen. Reading this book with no light is equal to you never picking the book up. That's right. So here comes the light. The light. Now, <laughs> if the door is closed in your mind, mm -hmm. you are in the dark and can't see the contents of the letter. Can't see. That's right. So Jesus. Must come open. That's right. In your mind. That's right. To understand the language of the Messiah. That's right. That's what the book says. The interest of thy word. The interest mm -hmm. of thy word <laughs> giveth light. I got to enter into it. That's right. He has to put me into it. That's right. And then I have to walk humble enough that my mind never closed to it. That's it. That's right. You get to the point and you say, I got the whole truth. I got everything I need to get the door done shut on you. It's shut. Amen. It's shut. When the door shut on you, now there's room to error. That's there's right. room for false teaching. That's true. But if that door stay open, that's right. And you stay humble before the Almighty. Go ahead. And let hunger, let heaven continue to open your understanding. Go ahead. Then that door, you want that door, you see when God sent a preacher, he don't open the door all the way for him. No. The door is gradual. That's right. Because the light is too bright. It's too bright. It'll hit him too hard. That's right. You understand? That's right. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Go ahead. Gradually. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come the door to go. Gradually. Go ahead. The door come open. Gradually. Gradually. But the path the, 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 the light peeps out. Yeah. Slowly. Slowly. His understanding. Is enhanced. That's right. Gradually. That's, That's right. why I said the path of the just is as a shining light that shines more, more and, and more unto the perfect day. Unto what's the perfect day? Now the door is completely open. Completely open. But until then, gradually. More and more. That's see. That's what happened to Brother Paul. Yes. See, the light shined down from heaven because the door came open. That's right. And that light hit him. Yes. <clears throat> Boy, I'm Jesus. I'm Jesus. I'm the door. That's right. Uh, you go down to the street that is called straight, and it be told you. 
What the hell is to do? What you have to do? That's right. It fell from his eyes as it were scales. scales. After Paul was baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus and received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, he went straightway preaching about the door. That's right. But he had to go in wisdom. Yeah. The door was gradually coming open. Gradually. It was gradually, even though Peter was one of the original 12 that walked with him in the flesh. He didn't fully understand. No, no. In fact, none of the apostles fully understood why Jesus was living. That's right. None. That's right. He had to die. Mm -hmm. What is the significance of his death? Then understanding after death mm -hmm. to prove to you flesh and blood cannot reveal it. Cannot reveal it. That's right. Flesh and blood can't reveal it. That's right. So if I die and the spirit come in the body and takes the place of the blood because it loses the blood on the cross. Mm -hmm. So life has to come from somewhere. Go ahead. If blood would have come back in and he would live after the manner of a natural son becoming a member of the human race, there was no more blood. So Paul said, in that he liveth. Mm -hmm. What you mean, Paul? How is he alive? How is he alive? Paul said, in that he liveth by the power of God. The power of God steps in the body that now consists of flesh and bones and glorified and making its performance and its characteristics equal to all glory or to all spirit. That's right. So now the door comes to a door without knocking and just come through it. The door come up against a door made by man. Come through it. Come through it. And all they see he appear. Right. Wow. The door is shut. shut. That's right. Now, mm. here you have a natural door shut. And here you have a spiritual door standing. That's right. What does that represent? What does that mean? Even in the midst of the Spirit of God, mm -hmm. for you to accept what God said, yeah. that natural carnal mind of yours. Mm -hmm have to look at God from a spiritual perspective. That's right. If not, when the Lord appeal unto you, your door, your mind will be shut because you will reject him. That's right. That's why the book says, who by searching mm -hmm. can find out God. Find out God. We search high and low mm -hmm. for God. And God says, nigh thee. Nigh thee. At your mouth, in thy heart, the words of faith which we preach. 29 chapter the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 29 and that verse. Everybody all right? Yeah. If you can't keep up, I advise you to order the tape. Oh yeah. Listen. Isaiah chapter 29 and that verse 10. All right. For the Lord has poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. There it is. Deep sleep. The spirit. Deep sleep mm -hmm. is a spirit. Not naturally. No. Natural sleep is a common thing for man. There's the natural sleep and then there's the spirit of deep sleep. What do you mean? God can actually prohibit one to comprehend That's right. or to see. That's right. Because huh? That's right. you can't see what God don't want you to see. No, you can't. Huh? No, you can't. You can read. You can get up and pray. Listen, a man can't be anointed and preach this unless God put it in him. God, amen. I can lay hands on you. My God, but it takes God to anoint you. God, that's right. You turn on YouTube, you'll find everything you're talking about. First church and Pastor Jennings. Oh, yeah. First church and Pastor Jennings. Amen. No anointing, no nothing. No anointing. They try to handle the flashlight. They ain't got no batteries. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. It takes divine, heavenly talent. Oh, you got to be talented. <laughs> that's right. A divine talent woven within you from the Holy One. That's right. To teach you how to take the thread of wisdom and, wo and just weave the scriptures in. That's right. Make them interlock. That's right. Make them blend. Mm. Then you can get a, a perfect quilt to cover God's people in. That's right. But you got to be divinely talented. talented. Are you listening? That's right. If not, you will take the very book of truth yeah. and try to utilize truth to fight truth. To fight truth. That's right. These infidels get on television and radio and YouTube, go into the scriptures. Mm. They try to fight the scriptures. It is because there is no light in them. Oh, here it is. Isaiah chapter 8. Glory verse to 20. God. Glory. Amen. Glory. Amen. Glory to God. To the law. Listen to Isaiah. Chapter 8 and verse 20. Chapter 8, verse 20. To the law. To the law. And to the testimony. And to the testimony. If they speak not. Hold it. To the law. And to the testimony. And to the testimony. What do you mean? 
See, the prophets had a testimony. Right. And their testimony was about Jesus. That's right. But the Apostle John said that the spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus. of Jesus. The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. So when the prophets talk, they talked about Jesus without even calling his name at times. That's right. A child is born, Jesus' birth. A son is given, Jesus' death. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. When something's upon your shoulders, your horn is like an ox. Go ahead, brother. The ox is a sacrifice. Go ahead. Ezekiel saw him as a calf. That's right. Why? God laid upon this ox. It is written, God laid upon him the iniquity oh. of us all. So he carried the burden of creation. Why did this ox carry it to the slaughterhouse? That's right. Why was the slaughterhouse led upon the hill of Golgotha? My Lord. Are you listening? Go ahead, brother. Carrying all the lumber on his back, mm. which was the people. That's right. But God spoke to Jeremiah and said, I want to make the people wood. Wood. A bunch of lumber. That's right. <laughs> Bunch of wood. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Holding it up to Calvary. Go ahead. And then he will set the wood on fire. Mm. So you can burn slowly. Slowly. And there's nothing left but ashes. That's right. And when there's ashes, there's total submission. Total submission. Total surrender. That's right. Total death. Until there's nothing about self that's alive no more. Nobody in here is dead yet. No. No. Everybody's on. Listen, even though a fire, you may not see the flame, you thought it went out, walk up to the wood. You'll hear it crackling. Crackling, that's right. Let you know we still down here burning. That's right. You may not see someone jumping higher than you, so what? That's right. Somebody may not be speaking in tongue more than you. Irrelevant. Amen. They might even be in church as often as you, so what? That's right. But they're going to be on that altar. That's right. What is that altar? The altar is not necessarily this. No. The term altar means sacred place. That's right. Place set aside. Go ahead. A sanctified place. Sanctified place. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Glory to God. There's got to be an altar that stay with you at all times. That's right. It's your heart. That's it. The altar. The altar. On your heart. Go ahead. So therefore, you can't tell me. How sincere I am, That's you ain't got the right. You can't tell me how sincere I'm not, you ain't got the right. Go ahead. You can't tell me how far or how close I am to the Almighty. Amen. That's between me and my Father, That's right. which is in heaven. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Go ahead, That's the relationship. That's right. Between you and God. Amen. Now, therefore, you can't look at how God used nobody. No, you can't. And tell me I should be used like that. That's true. Let God use me. That's right. The way He wants. Wonderful teaching. How He wants. Wonderful. When He wants. That's right. Where He wants. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. When that door. Go ahead, brother. Open. Open. Sometimes we back away from the light. Yeah. It's too bright. That's right. He demands so much. That's right. It hurts. Oh, yes. So we approach it slowly. Slowly. Some of us haven't made it to the other side yet. We just get our hand on the knob. That's right. Hold up. Hold up. Go ahead. That's all. Go ahead. Just get our hand Go ahead. on the knob. What do you mean? I am showing the Lord at least I'm willing. That's right. <laughs> you understand? Go at least. Ain't no one gonna tell me you should open it by now. You should, no, 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 no. I'm gonna open it Go ahead. at my pace. That's right. Go ahead. So whatever come on the other side, Go ahead. I can adapt. That's right. And I can handle it. That's right. I don't want you to open the door for me. No, no. Now some of us open the door and run in. Run. We run right back out. That's right. Are right, you listening? Go ahead, brother. You thought you could handle certain scriptural subjects. That's right. So you begin to exalt yourself. Thinking you're stronger than what you are. That's right. But then that light hits you. Hits you. And now you gotta come back and repent for what you said you never would do. That's right. Great Jehovah. Go ahead, brother. 
create circumstances. Oh, yes. And create situations to teach you about him and learn in depth about you. About yourself. Without God, you would never know you. That's right. You is not what you see in the mirror. Oh, no. You, when you stand in front of a mirror, you just looking at a sheet. That's it. Scripture says a veil. A veil. That's made to cover the real you. That's right. You see, let me teach you something about the human and the divine. Your breath takes on the name of your body. Oh, you listen to the old man. Let me repeat myself. Your spirit takes on the name of your body. So your body can be identified with the spirit that is in it. Right. It is written, flesh and blood cannot inherit. That's right. It is also written, no man had ascended up into heaven at any time. Right. But how did Enoch go? The book says no man. That's right. How did Enoch up in heaven at any time? Any time. So how did Enoch go? So he said he was translated. That's right. But what went in? A man didn't go in. No. Flesh didn't go in. No. But the flesh, when it was born, it was named Enoch. But the flesh was translated. But still, Enoch went in. The spirit took on the name of the flesh. That's what it meant when it said, you shall be known as you are known. When you be changed from mortal to immortality, your immortal body will have the same name as the mortal so you can be properly identified. My Lord. Same name, different substance. Are you listening? You see, Moses and Elijah appeared upon the mountain of transfiguration. That's right. But they've been dead. But they appeared. That's right. Still identified as Moses and Elijah. And Elijah. That's right. You understand? That's true. Here you had the prophet Saul die. Mm. But the woman with curious arts conjured and said, I saw gods. Right. Or rather stand, I saw gods in the fire. Mm -hmm. And she conjured up the spirit. That's right. Of the prophet Samuel. Samuel been dead. Oh, yeah. But here you had the spirit come back. Still call Samuel. That's right. And talk to Saul. That's right. And prophesy to Saul. So I said, well, so I said, well, how, so I said, how can a man prophesy? The man don't prophesy. It's the spirit that's in the man. That's why Samuel was able to prophesy. That's right. The man, listen, the man can be dead. But the spirit is what God works for anyway. Right. God can kill me. And he can take my spirit and make it preach somewhere else without using a body. Mm. Oh, Lord. And God can take That's the something. spirit of a dead man That's something. and put him in a future man that will be his servant. He can take the spirit of his apostle and his servant and wait for a child to be born that he wants to use. He can take an apostle that's been dead for years, take his spirit and drop it in someone that's coming later. Is that scripture? Yeah. Who do you think John the Baptist represents? That's right. That's right. The book says John came. That's right. In the spirit and power. And the power of Elias. Of Elias. That's right. Came with his spirit. Go ahead, God. <laughs> God can get a man today. That's something. From whatever prophet or whatever apostle spirit he want in him. He can dump Jeremiah in him. That's he can something. dump Paul in him. That's something. He can give him the sternness of Jeremiah, oh, the wisdom of Paul, mm. the stability of Peter. Mm. Go ahead, brother. And the knowledge of John. <laughs> and the firmness of Isaiah. My Lord. And a deep interpretation of Daniel. Mm. Mix it all up. You got a good holy potion here. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. This is the mixture of God that no school can produce. That's right. See, when a school get done with you, the spirit of Martin Luther come in here. <laughs> it's true. 
Webster, step in you. Go ahead. A bunch of colonel men come in. Colonel men. That's why you got that constant research. They colonel wisdom to keep you up to date yeah. with no information which will give you a message. Right. Well, when put an ingredients in you. Go ahead. It is written, what the Lord doeth, he doeth forever. Nothing can be put to it, anything taken away from it. That's why I am adamant moreover, in case God Almighty is to make a preacher. That's right. It's God to do it. God's got it. You can't find the ingredients of a preacher nowhere on the earth. Nowhere. Nowhere. Because the mixture of a preacher is not earthly. Because a preacher is not earthly. He's an earthly being, but he's a star. That's right. Not a celebrity. No. In the book of Revelation, there was the angel that had seven stars in his hand, which represent the seven churches of Asia. That's right. Or rather, represent the seven angels that were sent to the seven churches of Asia. Why is the preacher called a star? Because a door opened up to him, and he take on the light of the sun. Go ahead. Mm. Are you getting me? Go ahead. He take on the light of God. That's right. The first place where the light of God must shine is in his head. Yeah. Why in the head? Because his body is a temple, and the light must come and illuminate the dome. That's right. Feed his information, and then burn out all his mortal thoughts. Mm. Any ideology he have about God, burn it up. Right. Any assumption he have about scripture, burn it up. Right. Anything he learned from school that contradicts scripture, get rid of it. That's right. Now God got to give him now a new tongue. Mm -hmm. He got to give him a new tongue. That's right. First burn out all the old kernel knowledge. Mm -hmm. yeah. Burn it up. Take some hot scripture. That's right. Burn it up. Yeah. That's right. Burn it all up. Burn up all that education that will cause him to contradict God in any form. Amen. Burn it up. They right. show how to use it wisely. That's right. Then said I, woe is me. Glory to God, do you hear this? In the book of Isaiah chapter 6 and at verse 5. What is it? Then said I, woe is me, for I am undone. I'm not complete. Because I am a man of unclean lips. You see, listen. When you grab the door showing your willingness to come in and accept the light, you ain't clean when you grab it. No. You're unclean when you grab it. That's right. Don't sling it open too quick. Take your time and just peep around. That's right. Don't look at what nobody else is doing. Forget it. Look at what nobody else is doing. You just pay attention how wide you open it. Because you got to open it at a pace that you can keep it up until the Lord come. Oh, yeah. Are you listening? Amen. So when you grab the handle, mm -hmm. make sure you prepare. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Glory, glory. See, some of us just open the door and just come in. Galloping like we the Lone Ranger. That's right. My son. Listen at this. In the book of Ecclesiastes, <laughs> God's chapter 2 and verse My 1. My son. If thou come. If you come. To serve the to Lord. To serve the Lord. Prepare. Prepare. My soul. Your soul. For temptation. To go through something. That's right. Get on your march. Get set. Get ready. Get ready. When you grab the door. Grab a hold of Jesus. You better grab a hold of him according to knowledge and understanding. That's right. Take your time. You're not going to be obedient all the time. No way. You ain't going to be always up in a mountain filling the spirit of God. No way. If you look for it, you deceive. It ain't going to happen. It's going to happen. There's a reason why God designed it that way. If you're always on the mountain, you'll never know what it's like to strive. That's right. If you're always up, you'll never know what it's like to fall. That's right. For God will give the devil permission to create circumstances. That you experience some failure. Yeah. Huh? That's right. Don't you hear the prophet said that God know my down setting and my uprising? And uprising? How can that be for of my life if I never have a chance to know what it's like to sit down? Amen. Gotta bring something to sit you down. Why? That way you get a chance to observe yourself. Yeah. You start learning stuff about yourself you ain't never learned. That's right. You start looking up. Oh my Lord. Amen. Woe is me. Oh yeah. Huh? Oh yes. <laughs> That's right. Are you listening to the old man? That's right. The book says what? Then said I, woe is me. Then said I, woe is me. For I am undone. I am undone. Because I am a man, I am of, a man of unclean lips. And I dwell in the midst, of, of, in the midst of, of a people of unclean lips. But mine eyes have my seen the eye. King. Now, in the midst of his unclean I told you, when God first dealt with you, you my peace. Here's a man unclean. admitting his state of being filthy and dirty and undone. Undone. That's right. But yeah, in the midst of that, what happened? And I dwell in the midst of a... And I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean. Yes. For well, my eyes have seen. But yet in the midst of my uncleanness, my eyes have seen the king. Understanding started to come to me now. Right. My eyes have seen the king, the Lord of, Lord of all. 
Then flew one of the seraphims unto me. What do you do? Having a live coal in his hand. You see, you've got to have a preacher that know how to handle the book handle it. and know how to place it on your mouth. <laughs> That's right. Hmm? That's right. You got to know how to place it on your mouth while the coal is burning. Well, that's right. Do you get what I'm telling you? That's right. Because it's live coal. Live coal. You don't believe in the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues? You're the dead preacher. You can't do nothing for me. Amen. Huh? Amen. The Holy Ghost is life. It's life. It's life. When God sent a man, his preaching don't contradict the book. When a no. man come along today and say he's an apostle, if you believe to me from these brothers, false prophet. False prophet. That's, That's right. the truth of it. That's right. If you're an apostle, you ain't got women preaching, you don't believe in reimagining the Lord, you don't, none of that stuff. None of that. You don't fight baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, you don't want, you, none of that stuff. None of that. No, you come along and agree with the brethren. That's right. You same consider spirit. everything what they say. That's right. Why? You got the same spirit. Same you can't, spirit you got to come through the same door they came through. That's right. Hey, That's right. You got to come through the same door they came through. That's you right. got to come through the exact same door, not another one. Not another one. Listen. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me. And said what? Having a live coal in his hand. And? Which he had taken with the tongs from off the altar. Yes. And he laid it upon my mouth. You see that? Laid it upon my mouth. This word got to be laid on your mouth. That's right. Laid on it. That's that right. way your testimonies will get shorter. Won't claim nothing like you ain't got good sense. That's right. You won't be up there tomorrow saying, oh, I'll never do this, I'll never do that. Let, let the word get laid on your mouth first. Yeah. See, what happens is, without the word on your mouth, you're just talking. Yeah, 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 you don't have to worry on your mouth. You have to all along and touch on the saints of God. You know, I thank God for being here. I know that God is real. I know that God is the salvation of my soul. He is the healing in my wing. You know, one day, since I tell you right now, I'm going to stay with God alone. I will never backslide. That's I will right. look to the hill which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. That make it Just go in. Go in. Amen. All right. Amen. Live call, come touch your mouth. Slow to speak. What? Slow to speak. Do you hear it? In James 1 and verse 19. James 1 19 speak. says what? Wherefore, my beloved brother. See, a person who don't have live coal on their mouth have an untainted mouth. Un that's you right. You do a lot of talking, but don't know what you're talking about. Amen. You do a lot of testifying, but it takes some experience to give you some type of stability and control. control. That's it. See, you got to have a control that's testimony. That's right. Testify Wonderful. with understanding. Testify with discipline. Lean out the I will never unless. Unless. <laughs> unless your experience qualify you. That's it. To talk. That's right. Sometimes we think our experience does qualify us, and dear God will let some other experience come that will tell you. Uh uh uh. I told you so. That's right. I told you. Yeah. Now your testimony has become shorter. Mm -hmm. Thanks to God, I thank God for being here. I do thank God for the apostles and the prophets. I do thank God for our brother and our leader and our teacher, Pastor Jennings. You pray for me that I continue in this way. Amen. Sit down. Sit down. That's right. That's right. Before then, you was wild and crazy. You up testifying, trying to tell everybody off and all that crazy stuff. Want to tell folk about your brother. Want to tell folk about a marshmallow you bag you bought in the market. And Want to tell somebody about an onion that was too big and you went to the market and want to tell somebody how your car broke down and how you had to change your tire. Shut, Shut up. up. That's right. <laughs> Shut up. Amen. Ain't no time for that. No. That you need some experience. The true test of your vocabulary. Go ahead, brother. Is experience. The true test of your testimony is experienced. Right. It is easy to feel like what you won't say or do or where you won't go. Feelings. <laughs> Got the feel. It takes experience mm -hmm. to resurrect the true knowledge of self. That's right. And this is what going to come to all of us yeah. who just don't know what it may be, how it may come. Right. Oh, it don't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> Jesus, it doesn't matter. Whatever come, whatever. whatever come my way, whatever come down the corner, whatever. Yeah, all right, that's too much whatever. That's too much. <laughs> I 
Because when you're done with the whatevers, an experience may hit you that may have you quiet for several years. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you understand? Oh, yeah. An experience may hit you that may have you quiet for several years. Glory to God. Before then, you'll be like, hey, greetings, brother. How you doing, man? No, oh, yeah. Just testifying before you know it. Nobody even know you in church. And you're right there. You come in now. You're a brother, but even you got a meek and quiet spirit. <laughs> Somebody think now you's a monk. That's true. You just come in. You walk on through the pontiff. <laughs> experience. Oh, yes. Much experience. Listen. In the book of Ecclesiastes 25 no and verse 6. To God. So when you open that door, he introduces you to the complete knowledge of self. Always remember that. The knowledge of Jesus bring you into the complete knowledge of self. Why? Because God now that gives Satan new permission to tap into your life in ways that you probably never would experience if you wasn't walking with the Almighty. That's true. As a sinner, there's some things you will never experience as one that's trying to do right. That's right. You don't experience being double-minded. A son of God, one mind. Be the devil to the best of my devilish ability. That's right. That's right. But now you're talking about trying to walk with God and experience hit you. Oh. Mm. Now you find yourself in conflict with yeah. your yeah. mind, a law, and your mind versus the law within the body. That's right. The mind know what Jehovah says, but now the body is in argument or in debate right. with the Almighty. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. And now we fight to bring our mind under a heavenly order that the mind may evolve around the power and the will of God. That's right. There ain't no one there here feel like obeying God all the time. No way. Don't try to go too righteous on me. That's right. You feel like obeying God all the time? No. And you read that, don't you? Yeah. You were some scripture you didn't know, don't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm God sent and God taught and have seen the most high. I don't feel like doing what God say all the time. No way. There's some things I wish I didn't know. That's right. Oh, my God. Oh. But it just keep giving revelation, depriving me. Now, see, this, this is heartbreaking. Because... The more knowledge you get, he just deprives you of opportunity more and more and more for legitimate excuse. That's right. So when you find yourself deprived, deprived of excuse, the next thing for you to do is just step up to the plate and be what is called brutally honest. Yeah. And call a spade a spade. Amen. Don't try to hide under an excuse. Just say, look, this is what it is. Don't try to use nothing as an excuse. When you try to use an excuse, you're a coward. Yeah. You're scared of your experience. That's right. You're scared of what you're dealing with now. Why? You can't face it. You can't deal with it. But what choice you have? I'd rather deal with it than have it deal with me because if it deal with me, I have no control. That's right. And it gets the best of me. But if I deal with it, I'm patient, I'm calm, I'm taking my time, and I'm thinking it through. Not responding from my heart, but responding from the Wonderful. If I allow my heart to sink into it, I may drown. May drown. That's true. Then they regret my decision. The heart of fools is in their mouth. What? In the book of Ecclesiastes 21 and verse 26. Listen, let's analyze it. The heart of a fool is in their mouth. Wait a minute. That means the beat of your mouth. Right. See, if the heart is the most deceitful thing and desperately wicked, see, and that heart is very unstable at times, mm -hmm. then why talk from it? Hmm. That's true. Think clearly first. Right. It's like some people say, you know, I love my wife or I love my husband with all my heart. Oh, my heart. Holy. You too far. <laughs> That's right. You talking too quick. Yeah. Not even God Himself advised you to love your husband or wife with all oh, your God. heart. He advised you to love Him. Right. With all your heart, your soul, your mind. He advised you to love your wife and husband from, from the heart. That's right. 
from the heart. From it. That's right. You give all your heart to God. Mm -hmm. Are you listening? The heart of fools is in their mouth. The heart of a fool is in his mouth. So therefore, you become unstable. See, some people are like an earthquake. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing stable about an earthquake, nor is anything stable about a wave on water. No. In order for stability to come to water, the climate must change. Yeah. And when the climate changes, the water ceases to become liquid. It becomes a solid so, now. Mm -hmm. Change. So, my emotions that's liquefied, <laughs> because they're too unstable, must be stabilized. That's right. And sometimes it takes a person or an event to stabilize this unstable house. Right. Are you listening? That's right. You take a building. When I go inside a property, I am not looking at the beauty of it. My first trip is straight to the basement. Hmm. I'm looking at foundation, structure. We can get to the beauty later Amen. i'm down here looking at the cracks in the wall i'm looking at the support beams i'm lining my eye up against the wall using it as a plumb line to see do i see any shift and moving or do i see straight i'm going on the outside of the building Look before i even look at any beauty i'm going on the outside of the building looking at the cracks what direction they go see is the wall on the outside straight or do i see buckling right because i don't care how beautiful it is if the foundation is jacked up let the house stay there that's right. I don't care how handsome he is or how beautiful she is. Right. If this foundation is jacked up, the inner parts. In the book of Ecclesiastes 21 and verse 14. See, a lot of us get so stupid, we're looking so overwhelmed with someone outwardly. Yeah. Man, he's fine. Yeah. <sighs> Man, she's beautiful. Man, look at that day. Look at that, right. look at that over there. That's right. Go ahead, brother. A house. Go ahead, go ahead. This is the attic. Mm -hmm. Other than dust, what's up there? What's up there? You look at this before you look at some physical performance. A dog can perform. That's right. He performed and not even with a dog. That's right. You the fire hydrant. What's up here? Amen. And what's in here? The inner parts of a fool. You don't try to judge it. Right. But you do want to evaluate it. Evaluate it. But first, do you. That's right. Or you talk about us and we, you first got to get I right. If you try to get into a relationship and establish a an us or we and we ain't got I right, it won't be no we. Good boy. It never will be a we. Amen. If you don't get I right, it ain't going to be no we. You got to get I first. I. I got to get myself together. I got to get my mind right. I got to get my emotions in check. I got to get myself on track. That's it. Ain't no need for me to invite you into my car that I don't have. And they're going to say, let's, 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 let's go for a ride. Let's go for a ride. You come get in the car, just sitting there. You're like, start it up. He make noise. Hmm. Hmm. You know, we did that when we was kids. We'd get a go-kart and some wood, take some wheels off some skates, put it over there. We had ourselves some wheels, man. We paint the name of the car on it. Say 42, Ferrari, Firebird. And we moved too, Jack. Hmm. Don't you even propose to nobody. That's right. And don't you accept no proposal from nobody Amen. who don't even have our right. Because you will never live by the law of us and we until I am first master. Go ahead. Go ahead. Master I. Go ahead. Before you invite someone else and then incorporate the title, we are us. And the knowledge of the unwise. Listen. It's still in the book of Ecclesiastes 21 now at verse 18. The knowledge of the unwise. Of the unwise. Is as talk. Is as talk. Without sense. You better read that again, please. <laughs> Ecclesiastes 21 and verse 18. Let the church say amen. Amen. Say amen again. Amen. Say amen like you mean it. <laughs> this is good. 
and this is common sense scripture. Oh yeah. This and is the word of wisdom. Listen at this. And the knowledge. The knowledge of the unwise of a fool is as talk. Is as talk without sense. Don't make no sense. That's right. That's right. Don't make no sense. No sense. Why would you try to make sense out of something that you know don't even make sense? It makes sense. Go ahead. May I ask you again, please? <laughs> Why would you try to make sense mm -hmm. out of something that started out with no sense, no sense. in the middle, no sense, That's right. and the ending, no sense, That's and you walk around saying, that don't make no sense, <laughs> and then you say, I'm trying to make sense. I'm trying to make it sense. That's right. Now, ask yourself, do you have any sense? Are <laughs> oh, you listening to the old man? Go ahead. Give chapter and verse again. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 21 and verse 18. Give chapter and verse again. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 21 and Praise verse 18. Praise that one. God, give chapter and verse again. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 21 and verse 18. Says what? And the knowledge. The knowledge. Of the unwise. Of the unwise. Of a fool. Of a nut. Is as talk. Uh, that's right. Is as talk. Without sense. <laughs> Amen. If someone is talking to you, listen. There's talk. Mm. That sound right. Mm. That's right. Then there's talk. That's right. That is right. That is right. Solomon says it this way. Yeah. There is a way that seems. It seems. Seem right unto man. Right. It seems believable. That's right. It seems convincing. Mm -hmm. It seems like it makes sense. That's right. But Solomon went on to tell us the end thereof ways of death. the ways of death. Yeah. No good. Now you have sense that's plain. Mm -hmm. Right in your face. Don't need no revelation. Hmm. Well, I gotta pray about it. It's right there in your face. That's right. I'm gonna fast and deprive myself of meals. It's right there in your face. Right if my car broke down, I don't need to fast, Lord. To fast reveal to me why my car broke down. No. Dear Heavenly Father, oh wise God, my car won't start. Mm. I should have shown me from heaven. Break down the engine in the interior of my hood. Show me the piston and the battery. No! Call Triple A! Call Triple A. See? Now you're getting to good sense. That's right. See, don't no need to call on the Lord. No. Or Jabril. Call Triple A! That's right. It's just that plain. Yeah. Go triple A, I said. That's right. Let him come to you. Let him come. Hey, get up and carry on, on your way. Carry on your way. You sit on a solid road, you sit in the Oh, Lord. Please, Lord, give me cable. Send Gabriel from heaven. It's not going to happen. No. No. Dial on stuff. Huh? That's right. You're in a contact heaven about your car, call that satellite up above. That's right. Huh? You, you get what I'm telling you? Amen. Call on, sir. Call, call them. May I help you? Yes, my car is, is, won't start. I locked my kid in my car. Uh -huh. Believe me, it won't be Gabriel. Oh, that's talking to you. No, Go. no. Maybe some woman or some fella, they, you know, they eat and sleep just like you do. That's right. Call on, sir. That's my right. God, we, we become fools. Ooh. And then we mistake our fool. Foolishness for faith. That's right. That's right. We mistake and call our foolishness faith. See, faith. there's faith and there's being stupid. Amen. Do you get my drift? Oh, yeah. There's faith, there's being stupid. Yes, I know God can do all things. Yes, certainly you can. Certainly. He said, Whatsoever you ask in my name, I give it unto you. I give it unto you. You abide in my word, my word abide in you. Mm -hmm. Have a truth. But leave me to go pray wrongfully. That's right. Lord, give me a job. He said, seek and shove. Seek and you're fine. You'll find it. He didn't say lay around, look up, and just keep yelling. <laughs> give me a job. Give me a job. Give me a job. Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> Somebody asked you, why are you doing that? Because, you know, he said, so I shall call upon him. Lord, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Head on. Give me a job. That's right. Head on. Head on. Head on. Down. There's a problem. There's a problem. Seek and ye shall find. Right. Seek me, you gotta do something. That's right. Hmm? That's some work. 
You get what I'm telling you? That's right. Faith versus stupidity. Hmm. I believe God can keep you from all hurt, harm, and danger. Yes, I believe he can. Mm -hmm. I don't care how happy I get in my car. My hands stand on the wheel. That's right. Can I get an amen, brothers? Amen. Talk back to me. Amen. See, I have to say that because when I came up in falsehood, oh my God. Preacher almost had us killed. He said, when the Spirit of the Lord come upon you in your car, take your hands off the wheel. The Lord will drive for you. Drive for you. What do God need with your car? Amen. God ain't walking around driving your car. No. Well, I took my hands off my car and I got happy. I'm still alive to tell about it. God have mercy upon fools and babies. That's right. That's the only reason why you alive. You was a fool. God can have mercy on you. That's it. Huh? That's it. Amen. Oh, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. I see a bus pull up and for me to get on the bus, I have to get on there. Got to get it. Don't well, need me to stand outside the bus door open. I'm just keep jerking. Ha! Go Him! Jesus! Ha! Glory! Ha! Jesus! Ha! Glory! Ha! Jesus! Ha! Glory! Ha! Jesus! Ha! Glory! Just dunking like a donut. That's right. That man gonna close the door. <laughs> Amen. He's going to drive off. Yes, he will. And when you look at his mirror, he's going to see that image getting smaller and smaller. Still open. <laughs> Faith Go ahead. versus stupidity. Go ahead. Are right, you listening to the old man? Amen. If Jesus says, I am the door, this is the door you cannot handle any type of way. Amen. It takes skill. How to handle him. He understand his opening and closing ability. That's right. The opening up of the door, Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Revelation. Everybody all right? Yeah. I'll be out your way, God willing, in the field. I won't be finished, but we'll knock off eventually. Listen. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Uh-oh. The revelation, the revealing, the opening up of Jesus Christ. Which God, which God gave unto him, gave unto him to show, to unto, show his servants. unto his servants things which that must shortly come to pass. So God opened up himself, revealed himself to his servant, the apostles. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Any apostle come along today and say God revealed to him anything. And that thing contradict the book the size of a tarantula's hair on his ankle. Amen. It ain't from God. Not from God. No, no Any way. preacher come along and contradict anything. anything. I don't care the size congregation, how big, how small. I don't care if you run around your church like you got jet fuel coming out of you. That's right. Call NASA. That's right. Ship out of control. Amen. I don't pay that no mind. Houston, we got a problem. That's right. <laughs> Houston, we got a problem. Amen. Hmm. The greatest part of worship is the message. Yes, if the message is messed up, the church is messed up. Is messed up. Are you listening to what I'm saying? That's right. The greatest part of worship is the message. Listen, during the time that they carried the Ark of the Covenant, mm -hmm. whenever they were set up tent, they were set up tent and the Ark of the Covenant would sit in the center. Right. All tents of the, of the Hebrews will be around it. That's right. Showing you how the body of Christ or the people of God must evolve mm -hmm. around the law of the Almighty. That's right. You crazy. See, when you got stability, you don't get crazy over every crazy preacher you pull up on YouTube. That's right. It's good teaching. Oh, he preaching back to them Jesus Christ? Oh, how the devil's teaching that? Oh, so what? Right. Oh, yeah. My friend is on YouTube. Big deal. Big deal. You got friends? That's the devil. That's right. I don't pay that no mind. I'm not into friends or family when it comes to the word of God. That's right. I wouldn't care if my blood brother was on YouTube. When you contradict that word, you're going to hell, going. bruh. That's right. Huh? Hey, bruh. That's right. Hey, ah. Amen. The hell you going? That's where you're going. When it comes to that book, nix that. A lot of us are so weak-minded. 40, 50, right. 60 years old. Because someone that we're friends with is on YouTube or on television or someone that's related to us. Now we start to consider the madness that they say. Yeah. And now we're all confused. 
Amen. And you come sitting where the word of God is preached, now sitting looking stupid. Right. I don't know what to do. What to do? That shows you're weak and unstable. Amen. A double-minded man that stands up in all his ways. All his ways. How in the world are you going to jump and shout over a lie and jump and shout over truth? Amen. Holy Ghost don't behave itself how? Unseemly. Anytime you jump and shout over lies because that's something you want to do anyway. And that right. misusage of scripture sounds convincing. That's right. But regardless of what you want to do, when you sincere and that word of God say no, you got to just say, look, the word say no. And I, I still want to do it, but the word say no. That's it. You call a spade a spade. That's right. Hmm. Can nothing about you, my brother, my brother-in-law, son-in-law, father, grandpappy, uncle. I don't care about that junk. No, no. That stuff don't sell with God. No. What sells with God is what he left here. Amen. Wonderful. And because we take that stand, they say, he's arrogant. Yeah. He's mean. Don't like it. He think he the only one right. I don't, like I don't pay that stuff no mind. Stick the stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. <laughs> I don't worry about that thing. I don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. I don't. I don't outgrew name calling. Yeah. That stuff don't phase me. That's right. Men on YouTube and on radio and television call me for probably about a thousand. I don't lose sleep. No. No. I was coming from New York. Some of my brothers took me to New York for my birthday, and they was telling me about. They asked me did I see this thing on YouTube from some fella mm -hmm. out of Martinsville. I was like, no, no, man. You know. And they pulled it up, and he had he, he took took some clippings of a, about a telecast, put it on YouTube. And it was a service, you know, the Spirit was dealing with me and Williams. Mm -hmm. So every time the Spirit would hit me and hit Williams, he would play in the background, Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who let the dogs <laughs> You know? Yeah. And it didn't bother me, but when the brother showed it to me, I bust up laughing. I was like, oh, that's cute. Before I know it, I'm looking at it, Who let the dogs out? Who? <laughs> it didn't bother me at all. No, no. It's funny to me. Yeah. If you call me a dog, I don't mind because I'm one dog and know how to bark. That's right. Go ahead. We can bark. Go ahead. That don't bother me. No, no. God has given me a barking ability. Amen. And we can bite. Bite with it. Anybody. That's right. From anywhere. That's right. Or any subject you want to deal with. Go ahead, brother. See, I'm no poodle. That's right. Not me. That's right. Little chihuahua. I'm nobody little chihuahua. That's right. That's right. I'm not just a dog that bite ankles. No. I tear off your head. Amen. Rip out your heart. That's right. This is not for your body. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. These fellas get on YouTube and do all that bad mouthing. They talk good in cyberspace. Step in the arena with us. That's then right. talk. That's, That's right. where your talking counts. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Otherwise, the night you on YouTube, that didn't mean nothing to me. Nothing. Come up here where I am. That's right. Come where we are where the feast of the Lord is going on. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Hey, YouTube junk, that's, that's coward talking. Go ahead. No. When I came up in the hood, we had a thing called body boxing. Oh, yeah. We come out in the street toe to toe. That's right. Mm, 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 mm. Body boxing, toe to toe. Toe to toe. That's right. We wasn't coming out. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Pity Pat. You ask them internet fighters. Pity Pat. Pity Pat. Yes. No. Go ahead. Man. You want me? I'm an easy man to find. Go ahead. Just come right where we are. Come on. Come on. Go ahead. Take the word of God and beat you back to childhood. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. I don't care if it's your friend. Go ahead, man. Your father. Go ahead. Your son. Your son-in-law. Some of these fellas getting up fighting us and then trying to preach like us. That's right. Now that don't make sense. That's what I call jealous admiration. Amen. They're trying to get readers. They can't even find what they're looking for. <laughs> that's right. My Lord. See, that's admiration. They copy the truth of God. Yes. And they copy it. They mimic it. But yet, you can see the difference. Them fellows that are readers, they can't look. They can't find none. Even like, where's that? Where's that? Uh, 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 uh. And the spirit said, well, that's the wrong one. <laughs> see, when the spirit is working. Oh, yeah. When the spirit works, it, it flows. Oh, yeah. See, God talked through us, yeah. and the same God is in him. That's right. God got him, oh, and yeah. then God got me a strip when he pulled. That's right. You understand? That's right. He pulled the one. That's right. God gave me carving skills. Go ahead, brother. Take it down and show me what it is. Yes. Oh, 
Amen. Come to Thursday, God. Amen. You got to have common skills. Amen. One. You ain't trying to blame none of these folks. No, no. Why? They ain't got nothing to offer First Church. That's right. Nothing. You that don't watch it on the internet, Go turn ahead. to YouTube. Go ahead, brother. Listen at the talk about First Church yeah. and Pastor Jennings. Yeah. If you never even heard of Pastor Jennings, look at the devils that's arguing about First Church that's and right. Pastor Jennings. That's right. Then watch the truth of God. You see just as much as difference as a pig and a cow. Amen. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. The anointing is in here. Oh, Come yeah. on. That's, that's, that's what it is. The anointing is in here. Amen. These things, they got nothing to offer us. No, no. Sometimes they spend their whole little program just trying to take apart what the truth of God preached. That's right. That goes to show you the potency of it. That's right. How strong it is. They, they just spend a whole time, every little program they got. Well, we, this is where we left off last week. You know, Pastor Jenny said this. I heard that one little rabbit now uh, who made himself a preacher. And I don't look at him as a preacher. I look at him as equipment to a woman preacher because a woman preacher is not a preacher. So therefore, he's not a preacher. <laughs> you know? So one little rabbit that used to be with us in Mobile, Alabama, he's oh. up on YouTube now, the woman preacher, and he's supposed to be on YouTube trying to take apart everything that Pastor Jennings preached. My Lord. A woman preacher. My Lord. A woman preacher. Some little rascal from Alabama is up on YouTube trying to take apart what Pastor Jennings preached. My Lord. Now, this goes to show you the potency. Anybody want to jump on the Pastor Jennings wagon? <laughs> Anybody want to do it? That's you know why? These men are not known. So to get known, let's talk about Pastor Jennings. Let's talk about him. Amen. Well, if you really want to be known, we'll make you known. Oh, yeah. Show on television. Oh, yeah. We'll make you famous. You're famous. You will have the first live living funeral. That's right. We'll give you a living funeral. Amen. We'll give, we offer you a living funeral. Weep for the dead. The book says what? Weep for the dead. The moment you come up here, everyone with you might as well start weeping. For, that's right. Break out the handkerchiefs. That's right. Weep for Weep the dead. for the dead. And this is what they're doing. They're sending tapes to members that are still here. That's right. I'm not a fool. I know what you're doing. Amen. What a woman preacher got to offer first church? Go ahead. Nothing. Nothing. You are partakers of it. Don't waste your time. Follow garbage if you want garbage. That's right. That's Otherwise, right. Not, give me something pure. Amen. And legit. You see, I'm stable to what we are. That's it. That's what makes me such a good scriptural fighter. That's right. We're stable. That's We're right. staying training with the Lord. That's right. Just stay on the Old Testament and New Testament bag. Go ahead. Building up your punching ability. Go ahead. And your speed. Go ahead. Oh, just building it up. Just building it up. Go over, 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 over. Just building it up. Go ahead. You've got to stay there. Go ahead, brother. I don't care nothing about nobody relatives. Nobody. Go ahead. When I come to that book. Amen. You cyberspace fellas. You see our program, you see the address of what meetings we're going to be at anywhere in the world, right. just walk in. Walk in. Just walk in. Come on. Amen. And die. That's right. Go ahead. So I want to say to the little girl from Alabama that used to be here in First Church Lord in Mobile, Lord listen little boy. <laughs> If you want Pastor Jennings that bad, that's we'll put you on television. Go ahead. You've been loving limelight. We'll make you famous. That's right. If that's what you want. That's right. Please, whoever's going to read for you, get all the readers you want. Get all of them. Because this time, the reader die <laughs> and the one that's supposed to be preaching. That's right. See, that's right. For now on, when I debate men and they got a reader, your reader dies. He dies. That's right. That's right. I'm going I'm to dare your reader to even find what you said. <laughs> And if you don't find it, Amen. I'm going to kill you. And then I'm going to make you sit down. That's right. And then leave your fella standing here alone. alone. While the wolves look at him. That's right. Ah. Ah. Go ahead, brother. Ah. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. It's wonderful, man. Go so ahead. you little girls from Alabama that's dealing with my pastor Jennings? Go ahead. If you want me that bad, listen. Amen. You fellas on YouTube, how many fellas there you're not talking about first church enough? <laughs> you need to talk about it more. More. That's right. Express your hate more. Do better than what you're doing. That's it. Man. Go ahead. Go ahead. As good as this truth is, you should be talking about it more than what you're doing. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Please, you, you shouldn't just get 15 minutes of hate. No. At least an hour. At least. Go ahead, man. 
I'm, and keep advertising it. Don't you know, you little fellas out there, you little girls, <laughs> don't you know that I have gotten emails where people have heard some of you fellas that didn't know who I was. Mm -hmm. And as a result of you talking about us, you tuned them into us. Mm -hmm. And they emailed me and told me because they heard us through someone else talking about us and made them want to be baptized now in the name of Jesus Christ and follow the truth. Amen. Go ahead. Why does it happen like that? Because you're my enemy. That's right. And therefore, because you're my enemy, that earn you the right to be my footstool. That's right. That's right. God make your enemies footstool. your footstool. Amen. So to all my footstools out there, go ahead, brother. that my feet is resting upon your neck. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. You boys. Go ahead, brother. Go I'm ahead. Easy man to find. Go ahead. Man. Not a difficult man to catch. Go ahead. The stipulations are simple. Amen. Put up. Well, you little sissies, shut up. Amen. Go ahead, man. That's all. Go ahead. That goes for you in Georgia, you in Alabama, Amen. you in Texas, yep. you in New Jersey, Amen. you in Baltimore, oh Lord. you in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. you in Boston, Amen. you in LA, yes. anywhere in America. Mm -hmm. I'm an easy man to find. You got other religions taking time out and putting our website on their program. Our website is across the internet on places we don't even know. That's right. People just taking it. I have seen mail from professors of universities mm. who's intrigued, never heard of holiness. Mm. Black, white, Hispanic, Asian professors mm. love this program. Amen. It's Bible scholars that wrote me and said, I don't agree with everything. One man wrote me, he must be confused. He said, I don't agree with everything you say, but all you say is right. <laughs> Amen. I don't agree with everything you say, but all you say is right. Amen. It's wonderful. Man. You see, I'm not out to make friends. Oh, I'm an extremely independent person. That's right. I lean on the Almighty. That's it. And trust in Him. That's it. And my God, that word is cutting the nation. Yeah. You, you don't find the folks yelling about hardly nobody on YouTube, but First Church That's right. and Pastor Dennis. That's right. They're taking aim all over. People who don't even know these little rascals. They don't even know Spanky. They don't know Buckwheat. They don't know Stiney. They don't know Alfalfa. They don't know none of them. None they don't know Foggy. None of them. Amen. None of them. But yet, they try to mimic Pastor Dennis. Try to get up and point like him. That's something. Stand like him. That's something. Try to talk like him. My Lord. And then try to get a reader. Oh, you function in the clubhouse level. That's right. We function in the church. Oh, yeah. That's why men is upset with us because I won't go to these fellowship meetings. That's right. I don't believe in fellowship where there's unbelievers. That's right. If you don't believe the word of God, don't waste my time. Don't waste the time. If a man want to fellowship with me, I sit and talk to you about where we disagree. Right. I don't want to hear opinion. I don't want to hear what your organization taught you. That's right. All I want is this. That's it. You be told that, mm -hmm. forget it. No fellowship. The book plainly said if we walk in the light as he is in the light, what we got? We have fellowship. Because you got the word apostolic, the Catholics got that. That's right. Don't put that in no mind. No mind. So because of that, they say, Pastor Jenner think he's the only one right. No, I believe God is the only one right. That's it. That's what I believe. That's it. Wonderful. Out of all that hate, what is it that make these people tune in every week? Amen. Out of all that hate, That's right. why do you turn on the YouTube downloading new messages? That's right. Why? Why? Because the devil know and tremble. That's right. As you know it. They learn. They listen, then they learn, and they go back and tell the folk, God gave it to me. God gave it. What a lie. I ain't got to listen to that. None of you fellas to learn nothing. That's right. That's something to say. Oh, yeah. I ain't got to listen to that. Not one man on YouTube to learn anything about the book. Nothing. Not to learn nothing about you. Nothing. My teacher, think of this now. My teacher, my teacher <laughs> is the master of creation, the sustainer of the world, Amen. the ruler of the day of judgment. My teacher is Adam's father. My Lord. My teacher was the father of that body, son of God. My, Lord. My teacher was manifest in the flesh. Mm -hmm. 
My teacher created the world. And with this God-given message given to us by our teacher, I would challenge the world even just last week or two weeks ago. The nation of Islam gathered in New Jersey. Who was the topic? Pastor Jennings. This group that call themselves Allah something. Still want to talk about triple darkness. They still hurting because they received a triple blow. That's right. After all these years. All these years. The Quran teaches that God created you in the womb of right. and through veil of darkness. Right. I can accept that. Mm -hmm. Three veils of darkness mean the complete darkness. Right. Because complete darkness is the inside of the womb of the woman. Right. Yet light is there. What is that light? The creating ability of the Most High. That's right. It didn't say that God created himself. It says that God created us in three veils of darkness. Mm. So they go utilize science. Yeah. I don't utilize science. I utilize God. That's right. Give me that which was here before any science. Before science. Huh? That's it. I don't want no big head scientists. I don't want no small head scientists. Amen. Just give me God. You see all this crazy supposition out here? Yeah. And everybody run after it. Yeah. Run after God. That's it. Get some stability in you that you're not carried away with all this junk you hear around the world. That's right. Get holiness in you and you get in it. I'm stable. I can listen to any religion under the sun and I ain't moved. That's right. Anything they, if they tell the truth, I can say amen to it. Yeah. If a false religion tell the truth, I got to say amen. Oh, yeah. But I don't want to be you. No. No, I'm, I want to be like Jesus. That's it. So we let our heart become emotionally attached. That's it. Because relatives is over the airways. What do God care? What do God care? God told Abraham, get out from among your kindred. Amen. Are you listening? Huh. You go to YouTube to listen? No. I just go by different brothers tell. Them. And I just, I don't, I'm not, I don't worry about them. Yeah. I'm telling brothers come to me, man, I'm so upset. I'm like, why? Well, this fellow on YouTube, I'm like, hey, 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 don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, be happy. <laughs> right. Be cool, man. Well, I ain't got no time to sweat that. No. No, you don't. The word is still bringing people by the hundreds. Yeah. On YouTube and all that, no one getting baptized, no one receiving the Holy Ghost, no one coming into the truth, and yet you say God gave you the gospel for the world. For the world. And the ants don't even know you. <laughs> That's right. Nobody knows you. I'm about substance. Go ahead, brother. Yes, I am. Go ahead. God made me a real apostle. God made me that. Wonderful. And all my teaching, my teaching that God gave us agree with the former apostle. That's it. Ain't no women preachers here. We don't denounce speaking in tongues. It ain't no baptism in Jesus' name. Nope. It's baptism in the name of Jesus Christ or the Lord, Lord Jesus. Peter said, Jesus Christ, the Apostle Paul said, Lord Jesus. That's right. We agreed on. It ain't, ain't, no, ain't no divorce. No divorce. That's right. It ain't I used to preach against divorce and then all of a sudden I got a revelation. It's right to do. No, it ain't. No, it's not. No! Same no. We parked right there That's right. and have... A whole lot of quarters to put in this right. eternal meter. Amen. Boy, I look like going to a meeting with a group of fellas believe you can divorce. And they all know we don't believe that trash. Don't believe it. And people sit out there and say, Amen. Amen. Yeah. We brothers. No, no, no. No, no. No. Go ahead. Man. I am not a brother to someone that justified divorce. No way. Can't be. I can't be. Can't be. If you are, I advise you to be with them. That's right. You did you Hunter said it this way. Either you fought or against it. Or against it. All this divorce and crap that's popping up and these people are turning one by one. Getting these little backyard preachers meetings. My lord. These barnyard preachers barnyard. meetings. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Barnyard meetings. A bunch of hillbillies coming together in some barn. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Kicking up a bunch of hay and chewing tobacco, <laughs> and everybody leaves the barn scratching. We can divorce. <laughs> yeah, we can divorce. 
Go ahead, brother. And then some civilized nut who's supposed to be civilized hear the revelation of a hillbilly. A hillbilly. And now he come out shouting just like the hillbilly. <laughs> Justifying divorce. Justifying. Lord help us. You brothers, I don't care what you think of Pastor Jenny. No. I really just don't care. You shouldn't say that. Give me the second chapter of the book of Galatia. Galatia. Let's see the Apostle Paul say the same thing and just use a different word. That's right. Second chapter of the book of Galatians. Move Galatians quick. 2 and verse 6. Yes, sir. But of these but who, of seem, these who seem to be somewhat. Whatsoever they were. Whatsoever they were. Make it no matter to me. It didn't make no matter to him then. It don't make no matter to me now. That's right. No matter. It is this firm, unmovable stand. I don't like it. It'll take a real man to stay here. That's right. You're a religious coward. You ain't going to stay here. No, you won't. In fact, if you're an unstable man, you ain't staying here. Amen. You're going to hold on to your buddy, or you're going to call him after the message over. After it's over. You'll soon be with him, probably reading for him. Yeah. Or sitting out there in the congregation. That's right. God open my eyes now. My eyes open. Eyes open. No. Mm -hmm. I ain't tolerating hanging with no preachers that believe in divorce. No, None. None of them. Whoever don't like it, I don't care. That's right. Make it no matter to me. Here's God no send matter. us to leave folks to him, and then these people want me to bargain. Yeah. Grown, weak, unstable men want to bargain That's because right. of friends. Yeah. yeah. I'll kill a friend any day. That's right. And That's let right. God raise me up a new one. A new one. Amen. Brother called me from Florida and said, when you coming down on the fifth Sunday? For what? Preachers coming together, you know, we want this, 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 this divorce is on the table, you know, it's, it's deep, man, it's deep. <laughs> well, you stay in the deep. <laughs> That's right. It's too deep for me. It's too deep. Homie, don't play that. <laughs> and if you that believe in it, you won't be here long. Won't, no, you won't. Only if they're in the word justifies separation. That's it. That's all. That's God's permission. No more. God permits that. Permits, right. Said if she depart, let her. Let her depart. Let her remain unmarried. Be reconciled to her husband. If there's any room for reconciliation, she got to go back to her husband. If there is no room, she got to stay to herself. That's it. But then you go hook up with some two-legged Bible-toting dog Amen. that claim he's apostolic. Amen. When a bunch of gremlins get together. Go ahead, brother. P A W been justifying remarriage of divorce for over sixty years. United Pentecostal been doing it. Now the so-called churches of the Lord Jesus Christ so of the Apple Saints is doing it. That's right. All these folks changing. Amen. And upset with me because I don't change. change. I get worse all the time. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. If you just want the fellowship with us, fine. I will not bargain. Bargain. With nobody, no, come to that. No, no, I don't. I don't bargain with you. You can't buy me. I'm no hoe. That's right. And buy you. That's wonderful. You buy hoes. That's right. Male or female? Hey, Amen. You're fatty. You'll buy you a male hoe. A male one. That's right. Sure you will. That male hoe will talk to you. Hi. My, my. My, my name is Jimmy. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. They say some things I ought not to say. Yeah. Why not? Why not? If I got any coward brothers here, listen, you, you ain't gonna stay here. You won't stay here. You can't be no church punk and stay here. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead. You just can't. Go ahead, brother. Speech is plain. Paul said, God be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge. God want real men. That's it. The Bible toting, jumping, and shouting, but when it comes to the word, scared. 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 Give me someone that'll stick with us, fight with us, and die with us. Yeah. These preachers know. We will fight the world. Right. I'll fight my brother-in-law. Right. I'll fight my daddy if he was alive. Amen. I'll fight my 
done. Amen. I'll fight my blood brother. When it comes to that book, that's right. You know I'll fight you. That's right. So you little fight. girls that got in the pole pits, posing ahead. as men. Go ahead. You little ahead. apostolic faggots posing as Go men. Ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Stop all that cyberspace talk. Yeah. Walk in any building in the country where we are. Any one of them. Put up. Or shut up. That's right. That's that simple. That's right. I'm an easy man to find. Go ahead. You can't get my face mixed up with nobody. Look at me. Look at me. Can't get me mixed up. My God, when Paul put his foot down, I'll put mine down along with him. That's right. And I tell anybody, if an angel come from heaven and contradict what we preach, let the angel be cursed. cursed. You little faggots out here in America in the pulpit claim you're apostolic. You come on here. Come on, come on. We're waiting. It's not like we're ducking. All you got to do is walk in. We ain't got a call. That's right. Just come on in. Come in. That's all. Go ahead. One fella stopped in and gave one of the brothers from the FCS a note, and then he left. <laughs> Somebody who wanted to debate me because his birthday is on February the 9th, and mine is on February the 10th, so he wanted to choose one of those days to debate. No, you just want to be seen. Because if you really want to fight, you ain't going to come in with a note, just come in and keep walking. That's right. The difference is, see, first church, See, a lot of these fellas that used to go into churches and intimidate the pastor right. and intimidate the congregation. That's right. There is no code of intimidation here. That's right. No, no, Nobody. No. That is a member of the human race. Go ahead, man. Intimidate us. That's right. Only one to intimidate us is God. Oh. That's right. That's it. None of you fellas on YouTube go ahead, or inner tube or no tubes or that are tube less. Good, Intimidate us. No, they don't. No. No, no. No, so I want to encourage you. I want you to call other men and encourage them to talk about us just like you do. But please do it more extensively. <laughs> because far as I'm concerned, y'all are really not like giving us justice with this short time. Amen. I want you to increase out your anger. Make it more clear how you stand. Very clear. Very clear. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, why are you teasing him? Because that's what the prophet Mikhail did. That's what he did. I mock the false prophet. Awesome. That's right. I, I mock them. I make fun of them. Make, make fun of them. I have to do that. <laughs> that's right. Many of you now, you watch me on YouTube live. Look at you watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Yeah, you watch me. Yeah, you watch me. Oh. Watch you watching me now, watch recording me. what we say, that's so right. you can play my voice. And then you can get up there and get on YouTube and play my voice. Oh. Well, yes, play my voice. Play the voice of a man. <laughs> That's right. You do that. Play the voice of a God sent man. God sent man. You do that. I'm wasting your time fighting me over space. Bring your spaceship to Earth. That's right. And come out of it. Come on, some real turf. See, these fellas know I'll fight anything. We have done it. Oh, and yeah. still do it. That's why they, you see them all doing all this bad mouth and all this bad mouthing. That's right. All that bad mouthing. Some fella down in Florida named Tony. All this bad mouthing. But they do all this hiding. Yeah. Tony should be like Tony the Tiger. Great! That's right. Y'all fellas come on out the woodworks. That's right. Ain't just like roaches. Come out at night. Come out at night. Mom, you turn the light on, everybody scatter, scatter. Scatter. All oh, talk about Pastor Jenny. Pastor Jenny. Pastor Jenny. Pastor Jenny. Pastor Jenny. Oh, gang of them. Like a bunch of mice. My Lord. You gotta think I was a pie eyed piper. Pastor Jenny. Pastor Jenny. My God, y'all love me that much? Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Alabama, God willing, I'll be there later on this week. That's right. I'll be, right I'll be there. there. That's right. You faggots are welcome to come. Amen. I'll be there this week. This week. I'm a, I'll beat you clean out of your dress. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. See, the difference between us and them, I mean what I'm saying. That's right. I dare you to make an attempt to even step up to what you're saying. That's right. I want you to do it, 
and I dare you to do it. See, this talking over internet is cowardly. Yeah. It's really cowardly. Yes. All that long distance stone throwing. Mm -hmm. And then they get up caught up in space just floating. <laughs> no. God made me a warrior. That's right. God made me a warrior. He don't fear and don't flinch at nobody. Oh, yeah. I ain't impressed with no preacher. I ain't impressed with your work. I ain't impressed with your biblical skill or nothing. Nothing. Nothing about you. That's right. I know it's not a new thing under the sun. And when you talk this talk, you better come right down the line here. That's it. I even had fellows who thought they was preachers. They couldn't take this sound stuff. Mm -hmm. They went and ran none of artificial apostles. Some nut lay hands on them. My Lord. Give them license. Mm. I can put some of our sisters against some of these fellows. Yep. My God put Sister Heyman on some of them. <laughs> By the time Sister Heyman let out a few glory to God's in Lord Jesus. That's right. That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. Go ahead. It's a lot of international jealousy at First Church. That's what it is. I mean a lot of dick walkers. People, they ain't never seen nothing grow this fast. That's right. They haven't seen nothing grow this fast, and it's just still growing, still growing, still growing. Did you guys watching around the world? We got a new temple in Baltimore, Maryland. And, 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 that's, and, and we're not finished. Not finished. We're not finished. God is not finished. No. Ask yourself, why do you fellas got all this truth and no souls is coming to you? That's right. No work. I got a problem with that. No work. All this truth, all this anointing, all this shaking, all this hip tossing and hip shaking. That's right. No work. Why ain't nobody waking up? Amen. I'm preaching 10, 20, 30 years, start out with 10 people, and um, I, by the time I die, I got five. I'm talking about God sent me to the world. The world. To what world? The encyclopedia world? You don't go nowhere? Nowhere. But across the street or the two or three different places, they ain't the world. Not the world. Or you look at the world news. That's right. Either that God gave you the mission or he didn't. He didn't. The problem with many of you church goers, you don't even know what a preacher is. Amen. If my wife's going to put together the ingredients for a pound cake, I'm not looking for a peach cobbler to come out of the oven. No. I'm going to want to know how you do that. That's right. How you pull that off? Why in the world are you folks looking for so much truth to come out of someone that God is not in? God's not, not in. Not in. You mean someone who the Spirit of the Lord is in? That's it. Who got the real Holy Ghost speaking in tongue? That's it. I mean the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. I don't want no. I don't want that. None of that. I want no. Give, 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 Sam Gurga, Sam Gurga, Sam Gurga, Sam Gurga. I want Sam Gurga. Got nothing. Go ahead. They're speaking in tongue and then there's recycled junk. Amen. They're speaking in tongue and there's noise. Noise. Speaking in tongue. Eli, Eli, the master buff to me. Speaking in tongue. Meaning, meaning to kill you for sin. That's right. There was a song when I came up in the 70s with something like that. In the 70s. My Lord. Folks still got this homemade dunk. Homemade. They take their voice up and down. Like a motorcycle. Only get the other tongue calling their mommy. Mama, 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 see, I see, I see. Mama, I see, I see, I see, I see. Oh, I see my mama. Mama, see ya. That's right. Go ahead, brother. See, a lot of this Holy Ghost ain't coming from heaven. That's, That's right. why the churches are messed up. Amen. You need God coming to church. That's it. That's it. That's what you need. That's what Some you folk need. have followed bitches for years and not once ever saw him anointing when he was preaching. Never. Amen. They saw him yell, they saw him scream, but never saw him preach under the anointing of God. Very few people can say, man, I saw my bishop anointed. Very few can say that. That's right. Mm. Very few can say it. Mm. And here you have these things jumping and leaping over some leprechauns. <laughs> That's right. 
full of lucky charms. Amen. Magically delicious. Go ahead, brother. Are <laughs> you listening to the old man? Go ahead. Approach this door with precaution. Grab the handle with sincerity. Oh, yeah. Never judge the other how their method of opening, how slow or how fast. They must be able to determine, determine their own pace because it's all about survival. If you fall, hold on to the door. Hold on. If you slip, hold on to the door. That's it. If someone say, I hope you don't make it, let their words roll off you like water off, an, off a duck's back. Amen. Experience is designed to test your stability and enhance it. Now, you've got a choice. Get older, and the older you get, the more unstable you become, which means you go backward. Yeah. Or mature in every aspect. That's right. You are afraid of growth, you're afraid of life. Yeah. Always remember that. If you are afraid of growth, you are afraid of life. Because God designed life to give you lessons in life that you may grow thereby. That's right. Jesus said, I am the door. So you must approach him and be prepared to accept what is on the other side. What's on the other side? Trials. Yeah. Wisdom. Wisdom. Opposition. Knowledge. Understanding, pain, yeah. joy, suffering, patience, faith and the triangle of faith, yeah. strength, and the experience of weakness. All this is on the other side of that door. Are you ready for it? Time will tell. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. The word is good. Very good in detail. Men, be stable. I never heard of male PMS. I really haven't. So I don't want no brothers acting like they're going through that stage. That's right. Have some stability about you. That's right. No male PMS here. Amen. No harmonic shifts. No mental delinquency. No spiritual strangeness. Have some stability. Don't be in and out of false church, false church, false church. What about? No, no, have some stability. Either you're weak, God, or you ain't. Are you listening? This is something we preach firmly. We believe that if you attack one member of First Church, you attacked us all. Sure. If we're going to be a family, be it. You attack one of us, you attack all of us. These fellas on cyberspace constantly attack Pastor Jennings. I can live with that. Let's come on. That's right. That way, the Lord and me and script can help you with the nice, slow, painful, critical, yet well-needed death. 